after back-to-back -back losses to top 10 teams in Texas and a rival in Utah, we head to the city of brotherly love to face the Temple Owls to get the season back on track, 2-2 two and two as we enter Mountain West play. Welcome back to the Utah State Aggies dynasty here on EA College Football 25. After a poor interception performance, can Spencer Patras redeem himself? And can this offense get going? Briggs is going to pick up a gain of two. KJ Miles, the sophomore, on the tackle. To Quantavius Beekman. Beekman is going to pick up the first. As he really struggled last week. Brock Lane, who I'm pretty sure is our leading receiver. He's going to pick up almost the first. It's, it's going to be second in inches as well. Spencer, he's going to call an audible. And it's going to be a handoff to Briggs. Briggs, he's going to pick up the first and a little bit some. As now it is first and ten at the Aggie 49 yard line. Royals, he's going to pick up a gain of five. Only three touchdown passes for Spencer this year. Nothing too crazy. Oh, he... Oh, Beekman! I didn't think he caught that. My bad. <laughs> I didn't say anything. That's, that's my bad. I, th I thought it was going to be that I saw a flag, but it was pass interference. But we're going to decline it because he got the yards. Briggs Jr., he's going to bounce it. Almost picks up the first... Or excuse me, the touchdown. It's going to be first and goal. We're going to hand it off to Briggs. And just like that, the Aggies opening drive with the touchdown. As uh, EJ Warner is not the quarterback anymore. The former, well, the son of Hall of Famer, Kurt Warner. As I don't know who 24 is, but he is bursting out the seams with a gain of 30. Jaquiz Smith. It seems like they are going to be a no-huddle team, which we have not seen, really. As number 12 in shotgun. Incomplete pass there to number 17. That could have been a very, very deadly play. It looks like his last name is Simon. Maybe Snow. Almost the halfback screen, but it's going to be 3 Third and ten, excuse me. Can we get a stop here? We haven't really been able to. We will get the stop there. Force the three and out. Fourth and four. And yes, his name was Simon. E. Simon. It's going to be a field goal. No. Up. No good. We need to score points on this drive. We need to take advantage of the fact that they just gave us free points. Micah Davis almost cuts up huge chain, chunk of change. Gain of 21 for the senior wide receiver. This is going to be first and 10 now. Spencer throws it. I, I, I didn't hate that that it was just kind of a throwaway play. It is what it is. It's going to be second and ten. Beekman. He's going to pick up the first. Tries to <laughs> hurdle down to the 14. Three catches for 67 yards for the red shirt freshman. Quantavius Beekman. Briggs Jr. He's going to try to cut. Only gets one. Robert Briggs. As now it's going to be second and nine. Micah Davis tries to bounce it outside. Gets about three there. Two catches for 24 yards for Micah Davis. So now it's going to be third and six. Spencer. To Hastretta. No. His first pass or catch. Gator 19. The Jet touch pass to Beekman. Beekman's going to score. We're going to take an even bigger lead. As now the 
Temple Owls are now up. Yes, we missed an extra point the first time, and we tried to get the two-point conversion as we're not going to get there, but Jacquez makes a good chunk of change there. Almost gets the first as Temple is going no huddle here. Oh, no. Huge gain for Jacquez. He's already got 62 yards on the ground already. As Temple, they're kind of cooking here at the end of the first quarter. I Larson and a bunch of other Aggies there for a gain of three. As we haven't faced an up-tempo team like this all year so far. The Aggies like to do it on offense, but not every drive. Almost gets the sack, but pressure there. So far we have two pressures. In Ingusius Jr. Back-to-back -back plays, we're going to force three and out. Again, our rushing is not very good. Only 16 yards rushing. Briggs tries to bounce it. Gain to nothing. Maybe we just need to stop running the ball on first down and go from there. Spencer. Brock Lane almost but gets tipped around. That could have been huge. But it's going to be third and ten. Hopefully, the Aggies can keep going. They cannot. As Temple gets a pretty good return at the Aggies' 44-yard line here in the first quarter. As the first quarter is winding down here. And that is the biggest problem with Temple. Temple should just be running the ball because Jacquez Smith has been absolutely killing us on the ground. He's got 84 yards already. As Owls, they line up. Jordan Vincent tries to get him. Ike Larson will get him out of bounds, but not until he gets the, gets the first. So it seems like this run defense by the Utah State Aggies has no answer right now for Jacquez Smith. Larson, the tight end, touchdown, Temple. Right back in this ball game. As now it is a very, very close ball game here in Philly. Ooh, the flip to Brock Lane. Brock Lane going to pick up the first. That's a heck of a play to end the first quarter. It has been two totally opposite types of offense. It's been a very dominant type of passing with the Aggies and then Temple's running the ball. Briggs only gets about two there. Seven attempts, 18 rushes, or for 18 yards, excuse me. Spencer's going to call an audible. As it's another pick by Spencer Petras. Oh, boy, oh, boy. As another interception. As Smith, he's going to break it all the way for a touchdown. What is going on? And roughing the passer, Temple's going to decline it, and just like that. With an extra point, well, Temple has the lead now. We got to get something going. Tyson Stewart back in. Nothing there. Loss of three. As I, it just, this offense was going great, and then it wasn't. Micah Davis, he's going to pick up a good chunk of change there. The thing is, is like Tyson Stewart brings a different element to the, to the offense. He can run. And he's going to hit Jalen Royals, who's going to pick up the first, and then some 40, 30, 20, 10, 5, Touchdown! What a play by our playmaker. Just like that, we have the lead. That is why we got to give Jalen Royals the ball, man. Because when he he's a playmaker. 
Francis gets there. Jaquez Smith. Joquez, Jaquez, either way. A man has over 100 yards. And we're almost halfway through the first half here in the second quarter. Absolutely been tearing it up. Simon, he's going to keep it. Lays the boom. It's going to be third and three. Most of our defensive line is tired, which is an advantage to them. Simon, he's going to hand it off. Oh, no. The angles. Dickerson there on the stop. We're making Mr. Smith look like a Heisman candidate, an All-American. My man's having a career day against us. This looks like Simon's just completely doing an audible. Simon has a man in motion. Touch pass, almost, maybe. Dickerson, he's going to miss. They almost get the first down with that. Unexcused. This is going to be play action. Dunk it down. First and goal, though, for this squad. As we're not handling the uh, no huddle from Temple real well. It's probably going to be pass interference, but we do get an interception from Dickerson. Dickerson to the 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. My guess is it's going to be pass interference. No. Illegal man downfield. We're going to decline that. We just got ourselves a pick six. Hey, we'll take it. I know. I probably should have been a lot more excited about a pick six, but I thought honestly it was going to be pass interference or something. So I saw a flag. I didn't know what to expect, but we'll take it. And yes, I'm terrible at kicking at the, in this game because uh, I missed another extra point. <laughs> but Temple will get the first down and a little bit more as Mr. Simon. We're going to get there for the sack as Sloan gets the half a sack with... I don't know. I don't know who number five is off the top of my head, but shout out Sloan. Huge loss of eight. Boom. Right there, number 18. Reese Clark. Yeah, his number's 95, and he's a tight end. Dean. That's who it was. Dean Sloan. There, as this is probably going to be the final play before half almost, but Dean. Marlon Dean, the junior from Georgia deflecting that halfback screen as Bowman's just going to fair catch it. Two minute warning. We're cruising. Tyson Stewart, let's see what he does. I think his mobility brings a lot to this offense. Stewart, Royals, Cutton almost picks up the first. As Stewart's going to hustle them up to the line. Briggs, Briggs Jr., he's going to break off his biggest run of the game in probably a while. As it is 25 to 14 here. As we're switching it up, Stewart to Brock Lane. Brock Lane, he's going to pick up the first and then some. You'll love to see it. Beekman, Lane, Beekman, oh, and he just dropped that, but that was also a little bit behind him, <sighs> but it's going to be second and 10, Stewart tries to get something going, but it's going to be a loss of two, it's going to be third and 12 for the Utah State Aggies. Micah Davis, he's going to pick up the first and then some down to the 30, down to the 27-yard line. Four catches, 54 yards for Micah 
Tyson Stewart trying to scramble out. He loses eight. That was just a little bit of a bonehead mistake. He's young. Well, a true sophomore, he will learn. As Tyson Stewart, he's just going to pick up the first. I tried to get down, but he recovers the fumble. As uh, Tyson's going to learn to uh, get down when he can. Micah Davis over under thrown. Tyson Stewart's going to give up a pick. As can Temple capitalize. They do get the ball at in the second half as well. Overthrown. As honestly, that pick six really helped us. As we've been sloppy. Oh, Jordan Vincent. Come on, man. You're from Illinois. You could have picked that off. But it's going to be third and ten. 30 seconds left here in the first half. Here in Philadelphia. Dean was there on the pressure. You love it. As, yeah, Stewart's cold. No surprise. Briggs Jr., he's going to get a pretty good handoff. And I'm saying that's going to be the end of the first half here for the Aggies. A couple of turnovers. A little bit sloppy with the extra points. But, hey, we're up. I think from now on I'm just going to sim kicking because <laughs> they we gave him good penalty. To, uh, good uh, field position excuse me after the kickoff I did the uh, out of bounds as Jaquez 150 on the ground 151 excuse me it's going to be second in one already as I don't know who that was but shout out to him Oh, Orlavo Jr. It's going to make it third and four. Simon's calling something out. Oh, we'll take the three and out. We'll take the three and out. We're going to start out at the 27 here. Briggs probably could have kept it. Stewart, but... The way I see it, Tyson's more of the scrambling one. Yep, loss of seven by Cameron Stewart. It's Tyson. Oh, Hestra? Hostra? I don't know, but there's a flag. We'll take that. Defensive pass interference. But look at that. The scrambling to get a playoff. Brock Lane, he had it, and he dropped it. But we'll take that. That's why I kind of like Stewart a little bit more because of his mobility. Briggs, not really getting anything. It's going to be third and ten. None, none too crazy. Beekman. Wide open, 10, 5, touchdown, Aggies. At the 33-yard line, that was a beautiful play. Throw it up there. I still got to get used to the passing. Meanwhile, we just got to just stop, Mr. Jaqua. Just They're running all over us. As... Oh, what a pancake. What a great saving tackle as well by number 18. But 79, I believe, was the absolute pancake on our linebacker. As we're just slowly, they're slowly marching down the field. I love the fact that they have a tight end number 95. To me, that is awesome. Drew Larson there on the tackle. As 
They're down to the 25 yard line. Oh no. They're just cruising down. Number 10 there on the tackle. And I would pause it, but like they're just doing no huddle, so it's hard to kind of pause it. As they're at the nine yard line, second and eight. Francisco there on the stop. It's going to be third and three. As Temple's kind of come back a little bit, they're driving. And just like that, Temple, they're not going down without a fight. All right. Back at our 18-yard line. Tyson Stewart tries to do it, and he fumbles. He just fumbled. And then you wonder why I bench him. And that could have been very deadly. But yes, you wonder why I uh, I bench him. <laughs> like, I don't do a lot of read option or scramble a lot with him because of that reason and that reason alone. But it's going to be third and eight. Hopefully we can get the stop. But literally first play, coughs it up. Like, that's the problem. He can make some home run type plays. Oh, Olave Jr. almost. But he also makes very, very stupid stuff like that. As Temple, they're going to slowly cut the lead. They're slowly going to cut the lead here. As Bowman, nothing's going to happen there. But we'll see. Oh, that could have ended up very badly. What a read by 21. As Tyson Stewart's getting a little bit shaky. Briggs tries to break something. He picks up the first and then some. As now the Aggies, they're going to run no huddle. Ha, that wasn't the greatest throw. By Mr. Hofstra, or to Hofstra, Hofstra. Stewart, he's going to hand it off to Briggs. Briggs, beautiful. Gain of nine. Now, Marcus Brooks is telling Tyson Stewart in the offense, hey, Temple wants to run no out a lot, and you got to be kidding me. Got to be kidding me. And I know, this is a gamble, a huge gamble, but the way I see it, they have all the momentum in the world. Tyson, and Tyson Stewart's going to dink and dunk to Micah Davis. He has five catches for 63 yards. But Temple had all the momentum. We got to get the momentum back. The touch pass to Jalen Royals. It's going to get a loss of one, actually. We're trying to see what Tyson Stewart can do. Well, Jalen Royals in uh, slot as Mr. Hofstra is there. As the third quarter is winding down, we got Briggs picking up a good chunk of change, about three. 16 carries, 50 yards, and a touchdown for Briggs Jr. Stewart is going to call an audible. This will probably be the last play of the second or the third quarter. Excuse me, five seconds left. It's going to be third and seven. As... Stewart. He's going to pick up the first and then some. He's going to slide. He learned his lesson. So at the end of the fourth quarter, we're driving, but Temple's making a comeback. As at the 25 yard line, Tyson Stewart really showed great poise there on that last run. As he tries to, but he gets sacked. Fourth sack by this Temple's defense. Is now Briggs Jr. 
He's going to try to bounce it outside. He's going to cut back. He's going to get the six back. As it is going to be third and ten. Stewart immediately pressuring him. We punt and we get it roughly around the 30. Evan Simon is his name. Simon. What a play by Drew. As Temple. Is going to. Simon sees something. Audibles. Pressures. Pick Francis. Francisco. Either way. Interception. We brought the blitz. Second interception. Allowed by this defense. It's about time we're getting turnovers. It's Tyson Stewart. He's going to touch pass to Jaden Royals. Royals. He's going to bounce it outside. Juke move. Down to the 20. 18 yard line. Kind of like how uh, we moved Jaden Royals to the slot. To Brock Lane. Brock Lane, he's going to pick up four there. As now it is second and six. Briggs Jr., he's going to pick up the first on the under throw. Either way, wasn't the greatest throw. But first and goal. Lane. Briggs. He gets in for the touchdown. 39 24. The Aggies are up big. As we shut down that run there. It's Evan Simon looking almost halfway through this fourth quarter. Drew with the tackle. What a play by the young man. As Temple doesn't seem to be lost, but just seem to be outmanned by the Aggies, but they do pick up that first there as Evan Simon audibly. It's like Peyton Manning in Madden 06. To this big old tight end. As they're to the 48 now. As, uh, sorry, uh, number 39. As, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want to give up the big play. Oh, what a hit by number 14. Finally. We get a stop. 2.54 left in the ball game. What a play by number 10. Tyson Stewart actually hasn't had a bad game. 260, a touchdown. I believe he also has two picks. Dean, he almost got it. But we do also have a pick six and two rushing touchdowns as well. Was it the best performance I've seen from this team overall? No, but after getting absolutely pumped as number 95 almost gets in to me what I've seen especially defense forcing two turnovers I'll, I'll take it and Dickerson he's gonna get another pick 20 30 40 50 40 30 10 5 touchdown Aggies, the pick six to seal the deal. Listen, I, I take that back. As soon as I said, oh, it wasn't the great. We had three picks, including two pick sixes from the same guy. And another pick, Pearson. Let's go. We're getting all of our frustration out. Getting absolutely whopped by Texas and then our rival Utah. 
The touch pass to Jaden Royals. Royals cuts in. Uh, not terrible. Stewart. Almost. It's going to be third and goal. Robert Briggs Jr. with the handoff. He's not going to get in, but you know what? We're going to go for it. I say why not. We got none to lose. Add more points. Rumbling, stumbling, bumbling in. I mean, we dropped our first 50 burger of the series as well. And Dean, what a sack. No pause intended. Marlon Dean, the junior, with the sack there. Oh, come on. Listen, man, I try to user it, and for some reason it stopped. Also, he had two pick sixes, so I ain't going to be mad at him. Listen, we might have a QB controversy because uh, 264 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. Not too terrible. I know Spencer didn't do great either, but let me know down in the comments which one do you think we should do. But Tyson Stewart didn't do too bad. Rushing, Tyson Stewart, because he got sacked a couple of times, also the two fumbles, which is what's keeping me from not completely starting him, but 21 carries, 73 yards, three touchdowns. Receiving, Jaden Royals had six catches, 112, and a touchdown, including a 72-yard to the crib. Micah Davis did as well. Quantavius Beekman, five catches, 11, 111 yards, excuse me, two touchdowns as well. Blocking three sacks by Mr. By our right tackle. Defense, J.D. Drew led us with tack total tackles. Harris, TFLs two with Marlon Dean, only two and a half sacks. Shout out the junior, redshirt junior, excuse me, Avante Dickerson. My man had two picks, both <laughs> 200 yards. He both had 100-yard pick sixes as well. And then Mr. Francisco and then Pearson as well had interceptions. Uh, to basically wrap up, week five is the bye week, but Avante Dickerson was the National and Mountain West player, defensive player of the week, obviously with his four tackles for loss and his two 100-yard pick sixes as well. Quickly take a look at stats before wrapping up. Uh, four touchdowns, seven interceptions for Spencer, five passing touchdowns, four interceptions for Tyson Stewart, which one we think should start. Um... That's just me. Rushing-wise, I think Robert Briggs is going to have a breakout in the Mountain West Conference. Receiving, it seems like Royals and Beekman are the top two guys. Brock Lane's pretty good. Micah Davis as well. Um, defensively, tackles, it seems like, our safeties, which is not a good thing. Sacks, really slow since week one. Other than that, Marlon Dean's been getting better. And then, obviously, Dickerson, Francois, we need interceptions as well. But let me know down in the comments who should we start. I'll also put up a poll, Patras or Tyson Stewart. But next game, we will be facing the Boise State Broncos as we start conference play. Also, keep a lookout for the Patrick Winfield Show as we will be talking about so far and we also have some recruits that he will show you as well but until next time you guys have a good one peace